but for the most part, they're adults. They can hear it direct. You don't need to baby people. I was actually talking to someone at a vigil today who was a, an older guy, a, a police officer, and he started to get really emotional and angry with me for raising questions about his food choices. I mean, and I just thought like that, that just it showed a level of emotional maturity like to me. I was like, wow, you can't even have a conversation with me about where your state comes from without getting angry at me. Don't be angry at me. Okay, I'm just telling you. There's a fire inside your heart. Let it light up the world. Okay, time to charge up. It's 1.30, we've got about two hours to the next event. We're going to a damn square city for a cube of truth. I like doing outreach, eh? I like talking to people. I find my flow as soon as I start talking to people. It's just a responding based conversation. So you respond based on what they say. So it's kind of like a dance. All right, so they're doing the Cuban troop behind us here, and on the left here, they're selling hot dogs. Well, um, if you're not vegan, stop actively harming animals with your choices uh, because you're vegan in your heart, but not in your actions. And if you're vegan, then it's a neutral position and if you're neutral in times of injustice, then you've chosen the side of the oppressor. Why, why harm innocent beings if we don't have to? They're showing people... Um, no English, please. Uh, only Dutch. Only Dutch? I can't speak Dutch. Oh, a little bit English, eh? <laughs> Tasty. Yes. Yeah, but do you think it's uh, moral, ethical? They don't deserve the way they are treated. But it is, the taste of it is just too good. Yes. We want to defend animals. Yeah. We want to show them compassion. We don't want to stab them to death. Yeah. What would you? What do you think is more compassionate? Stabbing animals for burger or leaving them be? I live the big, but yeah. some animals are allowed to, you know, to slaughter them for the food, you know. It tastes better than murder feels for the animal. Terrified animals, suffering in their own blood. These industries rely on the consumer. Are you vegan? Yeah, for five years. You never see them like this, yeah? You only see them on a plate, seasoning, sauce. Never see them struggle for their life, you know. Every good is different. Every good have a different law, you know, about uh, animal slaughtering, of animal protection. You what know? about you? Everyone's different, but what about you? Do you believe uh, animals deserve uh, respect? I, I believe they have to they have to give the animal lots of respect. But after some of the animal, you know, like uh, sheep, uh, yeah. goats, uh, uh, cow, uh, you know, you can slaughter for it, you know. Do you think it's respectful to slash a knife in a, in a cow's throat? Yeah, but uh, this is about belief, you know. Uh, we are, I'm it's a, a belief. I'm Muslim, uh, you yeah. have to be slaughtered, you know. A better way to kill someone. Yeah. yeah. Do you think if, if it's a better way to kill someone that it's, that it's good? Oh, I didn't say it's good. Yeah, no, you didn't, no, no. Uh, I did. he, he said it is good, yeah. but he means it's better. Yeah. yeah, like you can be, someone could torture me and kill me, or they could just kill me, yes. and I'd prefer to be just killed. But also there's a third option, don't kill me, leave me, leave me be. And that's what vegan is, where you don't harm, you don't have to. It's horrible, you don't want to contribute to it. It's the most suffering I've ever seen is in a dairy farm. You seen Halal Slaughter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just look at the animal, like they're tied up by their feet. They don't want to die, they're scared. That knife goes across their throat, they're struggling for their life. They're trying to breathe, the blood is going in their throat, their vomit's coming out their throat, they're trying to live. They, they're, they're grasping onto their life. Heaps of other things to eat. Yeah, but uh, no like blood. A boy, you fit, you know? They like. It. That's where we're going. Exactly. People like the taste. Yeah. Yeah, of course. That's where it is. What? What for? For that taste. Five minutes. Your burger taste. Five minutes. Gone. Their entire life. Gone. Do you think that because someone tastes good, it justifies, makes it okay to take their life from them, if their body tastes good? Does that mean it's okay? I want everyone to 
be more peaceful, more compassionate towards each other and to animals. I don't understand what she said. If someone tastes good, their body, it tastes good. Yeah. Does that mean it's okay to kill them, to eat their body? Yeah, but for taste. But allowed in the world, you know, to eat. If you show respect to birds, chickens, pigs, cows, we're more likely to show respect to each other, you know. So if you choose almond milk, rice milk, soy milk, stay away from eggs and animal products, choose vegan foods, you're essentially saying that you are against this industry and you boycott it. You don't give them your money. There's not a better way to kill me. You take my life, you take everything I have. You take everything I am. Matt, you, you're different as a... Yes, there's a difference between people and, and, a animal. and animals. But we have lots in common. Can I just give you a card? That would have been good. You could reach something in your life, but the pig cannot be a king of a cow. But what do we have in common? There's human beings who might reach nothing in their life. They're born with a mental disability. Do you think we should take their life from them? Okay. You give your money to plant foods. They have the, the right to live. The right to live. Okay. That's, that's all. Yeah. That's it. You said it. They have the right to, to, li to live. You believe that. But when we eat them, we take away their right to life. Look, they're completely halal. They're choked on their own blood. It's either pay for animals to be stabbed and killed and murdered against their will, or not. One's vegan and one's not. That's it. You know, you, you are what you eat. You want your stomach to be a graveyard or a garden. Was I? Was I on the telly? In England. I have been on the telly in England before. I've seen you. Yeah, yeah. About this animal thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fox, yeah. <laughs> Piers Morgan, I had a debate with him on Good Morning Britain. That's right, right? Yeah. Nice Cheers, brother. Man. Thanks, Eats, oh. man. I appreciate yeah, it. Right. Cheers, buddy. Oh, shit, you seen me on TV? Sorry, mate. Like, look. What did he say? He said, I've seen you on TV. In England. Yeah, no, me too. They were really good to talk to, eh? 15, 16 year old dudes, man. Just, they're really receptive, eh? So we've got a lot of people squeezed in here, which is really good. The more the merrier. I like doing workshops. This is my first workshop I've done for a few months now. I've just come off of a lot of touring, but you are my first city of my Europe tour, which is really exciting. Yes. And it's gonna be a really big tour. Um, how to prevent being too preachy as a vegan? I find it hard to have a good balance sometimes because you get emotionally involved, of course. Who tells them they're too preachy? <laughs> oh, she's not there. <laughs> okay, but people like to say vegans are too preachy when you you start to raise moral questions about their behavior, okay? But they would never, never go up to a bunch of child abuse activists who are, you know, standing up against child abuse and go, you leave them child molesters alone, you're too preachy. Of course they wouldn't. But for some reason, people who are against animal abuse are too preachy now because the animal abusers or those who pay for the, fund the animal abuse are telling them. Of course they're telling them that. They don't want to hear, they don't want to hear the vegan tell them that their you know, bacon sandwich is causing a holocaust. There's no such thing as being too preachy when it comes to injustice. Thank you. Nice to meet you. You're such an inspiration. You really uh, turned me vegan on the way. Oh really? really you did. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. You were one of the first persons that really inspired me to go vegan. Wow. And then to become active, more active. Good. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. As the years go by. Me. I'm going to inspire my guys here and then the Dude, that's yeah, sick, man. Yeah, thanks, that's thanks, sick, thanks, fella. Thanks, thanks. I'm absolutely exhausted after that. We gotta get back and pack our stuff because we've got a really early flight and I'm really tired, so let's get a lift. But I feel like I need to practice my workshops a little bit more um, and get them back to where they were. Haven't done a workshop for a, a while now. Get ready Copenhagen, we'll see you soon. Boom. That was really strong. It's a tough ride, like, doing this. I don't think you get enough credit for how, how important you are for the vegan How does it make you feel? It has to be done on a tour like this, mate. I would appreciate if someone was just straight with me. Really disgusting, cruel torture and set it how it is. Skinned alive, I think they are for fur. Yeah. What makes it even more sick is it's for fashion, like. I think robbing someone of their happy life is just as morally wrong as relieving someone of their life of suffering with a bullet in the head. 
we cause the suffering and we take away a happy life. And it's very debatable whether they're having a happy life anyway, that's propaganda. I mean, a dairy cow is always mourning. No matter what, how green the pasture is, 